Hello everyone and welcome. I know that a lot of my viewers are DIYers and some of you guys are also contractors, so having good lighting for doing projects during the day or at night is a must. Well, the other day I came across this light that we'll be looking at today and I thought this could be quite useful to a lot of my viewers. This is a very bright omnidirectional light that has a glare-free balloon cover allowing you to light up an entire room from just one position. It lends itself to a lot of creativity when it comes to lighting outdoor events or indoor projects. It also boasts a whopping 19,500 lumens of illumination. So I decided to test this little guy out and see maybe if it could be helpful to some of you guys in my audience. Does it produce as much light as it claims? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stick around as I unbox and test this puppy. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has, but before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you get notified every time I do another product review video, DIY project, or a sale at a big box store where I can help you guys save even more money. Alright, so this is the 19,500 lumens LED balloon light from Borderex, available on their website, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this light kit retails for $449.99, and that includes the light and the tripod that comes in a separate box. I'll show you that in just a little bit. Now, they do have bigger lights that cost more and have more lumens, and they do have smaller lights that cost less and have less lumens. This one is somewhere in the middle, so that's why I chose this one to give you a reasonable approximation of what you can expect from this lighting. Now, this light comes with a three-year warranty, and what you get when you open this guy up is you get the light itself, get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the light, you get a convenient pouch to keep this guy in, you get a mount to put it on the tripod, you get a remote control, you get some hanging hardware and stuff because you can either use this guy on a tripod or hang it from the ceiling, and you get a nice long cord which I'll talk about in just a moment. And by the way, this white material you see here is not packaging material, this is the diffuser that actually spreads out the light in all directions without blinding you, and this will inflate as I will show you in a little bit when we get this guy hooked up. Now the dimensions on this guy are 7 inches by 7 inches by about 13 inches in length. Now this guy puts out 19,500 lumens of light with a color temperature of 5000K. This guy is powered up by Samsung LEDs that have a lifespan of about 50,000 hours of use or about 12 years of use. This light runs on your standard household current and it only consumes 1.25 watts of power. The power consumption on this light is so low that if you don't have any power available at your job site, this light can run from a small generator or a solar battery bank. This light has a 360 degree glare free diffuser attached, this white material, that can give you up to 11,000 square feet of illumination in all directions. This light is IP44 rated, so it can be used both indoors and outdoors. This light has a 15 foot power cable giving you plenty of room to move this guy around at a job site or when you're doing any project at home. This light also comes with a 6 foot tripod for easy mounting. The light itself can be mounted from a hook on a rafter or it can be mounted on the tripod as we shall see later. And it comes with a hook right here and an attachment for a rafter so everything's included in the kit. Both the light and the tripod also bring convenient carrying bags so you can easily store it away when you're not using them. The light can be controlled with a switch on the light itself or you can use the included remote control for turning the light on and off and adjusting the brightness from far away. You don't need to go up to the light to make adjustments every time you want. When you're far away from it, use the remote control, keep it in your pocket or something and adjust the lighting to suit whatever you need. So this light seems to be really great for all sorts of indoor and outdoor projects or activities. Whether using it at a job site or as a DIYer doing renovations, painting, drywalling, electrical repair, outdoor parties and gatherings, sporting events, or just about anything your imagination can come up with. So how will this guy perform? Well, let me hook this guy up and we'll see what it can do. All right, guys. So here we have the tripod all set up and there is the light on top of it. I'm going to hang up the light in just a moment because you can either put it on the tripod or hang it up, however you want to do it. But anyway, the tripod comes in that box that you see right there, and there's no assembly required. All you do is pull it out and start using it. 
and it comes with that very convenient little pouch to keep it in when you're not using it. So all you do is fold up the legs, pull it down, and you put it away. It's that easy. Already pre-assembled, all you do is put the light on top of it and you're good to go. And that is a beefy tripod. It is not lightweight. It is a very heavy duty unit. Very nice little clamps and stuff on it to close it up. Very solid, nice tubing. There you see the red mark, that is as far as that will go. And I did the same with the top one, that is as far as it will go. And that guy is solid, like I said, because that is not a lightweight light. That light with all the LEDs and the power and all that, it must weigh about five or six pounds, something like that. So it weighs a little bit. And that's the diffuser right there. And uh, I expanded it a little bit, but you'll see it will inflate in a moment as soon as you turn it on, because it has the LEDs and it has a fan in there. That's why you see the uh, openings right there. It sucks in the air and keeps it all cool so it doesn't overheat when you're using it. So I'm gonna turn that on in just a moment, but you can have that guy set up up to seven feet up in the air if you're using a tripod. So I'm stepping back so you can kind of get a feel for it. And you can see right there, that is your seven foot tripod all set up right there. So that's uh, fairly convenient if you're doing something outdoors and you wanna have some big lighting, lighting up your big project for you. So let me turn off the lights and then we'll turn this guy on. And like I said, you can do it with the remote control. So I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, so here we go. I turned off the lights over there and here we have this uh, little remote control and it's very easy to use on off and you adjust the brightness with it. Let me turn off the lights right here and I'll crank this guy on. And look at that. Hold on, let me step back so we can get a good feel for how bright this guy is. And there you go, it's lighting up the entire garage all by itself. You see it lights up the entire room very nicely. Of course, it's gonna seem a little bit dimmer on camera because the camera is kinda tuning down the light a little bit so it doesn't blind out the camera and the viewer. So it does seem a little bit dimmer on camera, but standing here in person, it is very, very bright. It is extremely bright. But uh, inside here, it does a good job. I guess if you were out in a field somewhere, it would be very, very bright. It would light up an entire field. So let me move around and give you a feel, but see, it lights up everything over there very nicely. Let me pan over here. You can see it lights up everything on the entire side of that garage over there. So the entire room is lit up. And there you see it right there. It's as high as my garage door opener. That's why I had to shoot it from that side. It is as high as the garage door opener. That is how high that is. And there is the power cord, by the way. You see how far that cord reaches all the way to over there. So that's 15 foot long, that power cord. So let's see, let me see about reducing the uh, light on this part. Let me see, turn it down a little bit. And I'm turning it down. The camera is doing its own adjustments, obviously. But I'm turning it down. And there you see, I think that is as low as it goes. So you can still get some lighting but it's not gonna blind you. That is as low as it will go. And you hear the fan going also. You hear that fan going. That is what keeps the balloon inflated and keeps the LEDs nice and cool so they can keep on going for many, many hours and not have any kind of wear issues. So let's see right there, you can see around you. I mean, that is the dimmest. You can still see very nicely in here. You can still see whatever you're doing, and that is the absolute dimmest that it goes down to. Now I'm gonna turn it back up, and look at that, that is 100%, because it has a couple of buttons on here. I don't know if you can see, but it has 50%, 100%, and then dim and bright. So we turn it down. Let's see, let's go to 50%. That's 50% right there. But you can go dimmer, or you can go brighter, and you can adjust it whatever you want by picking the different buttons on here. On, off, 50, 100, and dim and bright. Those are the six buttons that are on there. But you see right there, at 100%, it is very, very, very nice and bright. You can light up this entire room very nicely. Now let me hang it up from the ceiling. I have a nail up there, and I'm gonna hang it up. That way you see what it's like without the tripod. And look at the floor. You see that? The light coming down is still very nice 
where if you're doing any work in a room, you can see very nicely what it is that you're doing around you. So that's very, very convenient for a job site or for doing some work. If you don't have any power somewhere, you can hook this up to a generator or a battery bank or anything like that and keep yourself going very nicely. Like I said, it only uses like one and a quarter watts of power. That is very little considering the amount of light that it puts out. So let me hang it up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, there you see that I haven't hung up there. I have it hung from a nail up there. And I'm sorry for the flickering, but one of my bulbs seems to be going out. So I'll have to replace that. Anyway, so right now we have this light hooked up right here. And you see that it comes with a very nice, convenient, very strong hook. And you can hang it up from a nail from anywhere. It brings other mounting hardware with it. So that's not a problem. You can hang it up very safely. And that's all that it is. There's a cord running that way. And there's a tripod. So you can see what it looks like all by itself. There's a tripod without the light. And it's very convenient. Like I said, very beefy. I've used a lot of tripods. This guy is pretty solid. So it can hold quite a bit. So let's turn this guy on and see what it looks like. And there you go. Turned off all the other lights. So there's no other light in the room. And you could have this guy hung up in the middle of a room somewhere. And you see that again. It lights up everything very, very nicely. So you have this hanging up in the middle of a room and it'll light up the entire room for you very conveniently. So there you go. That is a heck of a lot of good lighting. Lights up the entire room. Like I said, look over there. You can see the entire room. Obviously, the vehicles are going to make it darker in here. But if there was nothing else in here, it would light up everything. And obviously, to get better lighting, it would be better to put the light in the middle of the room, like over here somewhere. Then you get better diffusion. But I'm only using this area right here to show you what it looks like. So that's a convenient little balloon light with 20,000, practically 20,000 lumens of power of lighting that you can use to light up a room. So for a project or activities or anything you have going on, it's a pretty convenient little light. So there you have it, guys. I hope that light comes in handy for you. If you need something like this for a project or some activities or sporting event or something like that, I hope this is a good light that maybe you may want to look into. So hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the links below if you want more information on this light. Hope you enjoyed the video. Questions, comments, put them down below. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.